This one's going to be on a command line um, pastebin client. It's called pastebin it. Real easy to use and very useful too. Uh, if you want to send any text or code or error message or whatever to someone, this is what you would want to use. Okay. So, how do we do this here? Uh, we have a bunch of files in here, and we'll cat out, uh, let's say this junk file that I have. Right, so if you want to um, paste the contents of this one to a, an external server, uh, we can use paste bin it, paste bin it uh, dash i, and we'll put the, the input file, which is called junk.txt here. Push enter, and in return, they give us a link here. Right, and you can use that link, and then we're gonna paste that link into our browser here. And there we go. This is the content of what we just, uh, you know, pasted from that the file. Uh, if you want to use it within like a pipe or something like that, or maybe in the scripting, you can do that too. So, for example, if I was gonna do like a uname dash a, normally we'll see like this, right? But if you just want to pipe that into uh, paste bin it, uh, it will just return us a link here. And basically, it will just, um, you know, paste that into the site here with our that information of that command that we just executed. Right? Real easy to use. Now, if you want to combine this with uh, what we talked about last time with xclip and we had aliases for uh, pp copy pp paste and all that if you missed that i'll post it in the description and you can watch that video also to understand this portion but to recap here we made a bunch of aliases for that uh so we have pp copy pp paste and pp select and the real convenience of this is like let's say if you want to go to a certain site or whatever and let's say you want to copy, you know, these three senses or whatever, right? You can always do um, pb paste, and then you pipe into uh, paste bin it, um, and you can see that real convenience. You know, you have your link here, and then there you go. You just paste it real quick, and there you go. This is uh, what we just copy, right? Uh, if you want to save time instead of like manually copying yourself, right? You know, every time you have to do here, copy this or you double click on this to select it or whatever. Uh, to save time, you can always do, let's do that again here. Say so we copy this sucker this time. Um, copy. And we're going to do the same thing. So pp paste, pipe that into uh, paste bin it. And also, I pipe it again, uh, pb copy, right? And this time, there's no um, link output. The link's already copied into your clipboard. So all you gotta do is open a new tab and just hit uh, Control V to paste it. And that's it. So you don't have to copy the link anymore. Um, but that's still, you know, it takes a lot of time to type this sucker out, this sucker, and this sucker out. So I made another alias uh, up here, right? This one here, and basically that's what we just did there. And I call this one pb dump, uh, and, and that's what uh, the, you know the command does. So whenever I need to do that, um, I go and you know maybe select some of this in here. Let's say this NASA crap or whatever. Copy this, and I just type in pb dump, right? And I'll dump it, and I have my link in my uh, clipboard now. And I just paste it. Uh, so it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, your browser. It can be any um, program that you have on your system too, or any message you have, you know, with it, whether it be in the terminal, or whatever. So let's say, for example, I do the message or something, and let's say I want to copy this portion or whatever. All right, copy that, and all I gotta do is do uh, pb. Uh, dump now pb dump and that is it so now I can go here to my browser new tab paste that sucker and everything that we just copy is in here now so that's it for that now the way that you will want to set up your paste bin it because uh, they have like different servers that you can use 
I actually recommend you do uh, an alias for this. So we have an alias up here. Okay. Uh, instead of configuration files, you can use you know either or. I personally don't like to use a configuration files if I don't have to. And the alias is, is my configuration files basically. Uh, so let me explain this here. Closes all this crap out. So let's do the man page here. Paste bin it. Right in here, um, most of these are like option. Let me close this down here. So right now, uh, in my alias, you know, I do a uh, paste pin it, and I have a dash a for author. Otherwise, by default, it's just your uh, computer user that you're currently logged on. But I like to have my own custom one, just my name here. And B is for the paste bin URL that you want to use. Because there's many uh, pastebin websites, and uh, to get a list of it, you have uh, a dash L here to list all the supported pastebins. I'll explain that in a minute here. And the last part here I like to use is the title. Right? What's the title of your pastebin that you want to name it? I just made up some bull crap here. Now, some sites they don't have title. Right, depending on which size that you want to use, I'm using paste two here. This one does have a title, but it does not have an author. So some sites have, uh, you know, titles but no author. So this is the author, and this is the title. So either or, some of them don't have uh, both of them though. Right. So that's why I recommend for uh, the configurations is just make a, an alias. Otherwise, if you want to make a, a configuration for real then they have this uh, configuration option here so in your home folder you can do uh, make a new file call it dot pastebin dot it dot xml here and inside it uh, you paste in you know these code here and just change it around like the author is whatever name that you want you don't have to put this jabber if you don't have one uh, the format is, is you know text is fine you can do other formats, but again, not all sites uh, support different formats. Like uh, you have an option of saying, oh, this is a Python code, uh, bash code, or Java or something like that. But like I said, uh, not all uh, pastebin clients or not basically pastebin servers has uh, those options. So text is um, what you would want to use. Okay. So. If you want to do configurations, that's the way to do it. I personally don't like to make configurations if I don't need to, and that's why the aliases uh, exist here. Because I'm already using aliases. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much it for how you would set it up, you know. And if you want to get a list of that, like I said, of supported sites, you do a pastebin it dash L. And these are all, you know, the sites that you can use. Like uh, they have a Debian one. KD one, uh, OpenStack.org, an Ubuntu one. Uh, I use the pasty, or you can go back to the original one, which is uh, pastebinit.com here. All right. The only thing that's missing, like this one, doesn't have you know the HTTP in front of it. So that's what you want to add in. So HTTP, you know, colon slash slash before all, any of these ones that you use, and that's all you gotta do to set up your. Uh, your alias is in either in your bash RC or a ZSH RC, whatever you want to use. Okay. And this other one, um, you know, it's up to you if you want to use this too, right? So that's it for Paste Bin It. Really good uh, program if you want to dump some text. Uh, should be in your repositories. That'll be it for this one.